Greetings and welcome to this week's Prom Insight. My name is Gavin Gooden. I'm the marketing director here at Blast One. Today I want to talk about how to correctly mix paint. Firstly, before you mix anything, make sure you've read and understood the material safety data sheet. You need to know what you're mixing. So you want to check and record the batch numbers. You want to check the dates and ensure that it's not expired. You want to check the temperature of the paint to make sure it's stored inside the recommended ranges because if it's outside, you're going to have all sorts of problems. You want to check to make sure whether you need to pre-mix one of the parts or both parts of paint before combining them. You to check and understand the sweat-in time or the induction time that's required for the paint before you start painting. And then you want to check to make sure you're, you're using a mixing blade that won't include air in the paint. Some mixes create bubbles, which can include moisture and can be detrimental to the coating. The mixer that we use and recommend is the Jiffy Mixer. It has two blades and works very well. So all that stuff's out of the way, here's how you mix. So you want to hold the drum between your feet, or you can use a drum clamp to hold the pot still. Then you begin mixing, and you'll start creating a natural vortex. You want to keep the blade moving in the opposite direction to that vortex, which prevents it from creating a spiral, which is infusing air. As you work with the mixer, you want to start scraping the bottle of the drum until you're sure there's nothing left in the bottom, and then you start coming up the sides, scrubbing the sock, scrubbing the sides, and you lower the speed as you come up to ensure it doesn't go everywhere. So once you mix part A, you check from the data sheet whether you have to mix part B separately as well. If you do, blend them together, blend them separately, and then together. And typically, once the coating is visibly mixed, you want to continue mixing on high speed for another two minutes to make sure it's thoroughly mixed, but check, the, check this with the sweating time that we talked about before. Once you've mixed the paint completely, this is when you add solvent. You never ever add solvent prior to blending the complete batch. Because once you add solvent, the shear drops, and it's no longer possible to get high mixing. High energy mixing. So now we've mixed the paint, it's important never to pump from the mixing container. Because there's no solvent, and there's often traces of unmixed material, which may be sitting on the sides of the drums. So you always pour that into a separate container to pump from. And remember that you need to change out that drum that you're pumping from at the end of the pot life of the coating, otherwise you have all sorts of troubles. Okay, so if you've watched so far this video, we've now got the safety warnings. In most locations around the world, mixing paint is recognized as a potentially explosive environment. It's called Class 1, Zone 1. This means that you need to use an air drill, not electric, not battery, to ensure that you completely comply with all flammable liquid handling practices and procedures. And you gotta remember about how to prevent buildup of static electricity. Some of these things include only use metal drums, don't use plastic pails, don't mix on top of a timber pallet, and make sure that when you're mixing that with that, that pail, um, a steel pail that is on the ground or on a concrete floor, that way everything is grounded to discharge that static electricity. Thanks for watching this week's Prime Insight. See you next week.